Okay, good morning. Uh, I'm Lori Slatton. I'm the records manager for UCLP. And I have some prepared slides based on the questions that uh, came up uh, through the uh, division move coordinators meeting that was yesterday. So I just thought I'd start with those and then we could open it up to having uh, a discussion about what your specific questions are if that slide deck does not um, answer your questions. That's not it, here it is. Okay. All righty, so we're, we're here basically to answer any questions you have for us in regards to when you return to on-site operations. I think the, the first question is, what do I do with the records I have from working remotely? So I think there is really four different answers to that. Um, the first one is if you're returning on-site for all five days, then the answer is securely return the records you have at home. So uh, securely means that if you have records that you have at home and you're going to bring them back to the office, you make sure that you come directly to the office. You don't stop off at Safeway and buy people donuts and then come in because who knows what's going to happen to your records while you're somewhere else while they're in your car. So make sure that you return them uh, by just being wise about the fact that they are in your car and they are uh, they belong to the regions of California. So you want to make sure that you um, secure them appropriately. For the hybrid worker, this really is going to be a departmental or divisional uh, answer because what's going to work best for your office uh, is going to be really what, what, it, what it comes down to. Uh, because are you going to bring them back and forth? Are you going to have them at your on-site place because you maybe are there for three or more days? or you're gonna have them at home because you're not gonna be there for any more than two days. Uh, I've already got the question from somebody saying, well, I wanna scan these. Well, that's a great, uh, uh, that's a great decision as well. Uh, the problem here is that we did have a whole bunch of funding at the beginning of the building consolidation records project for scanning records. That money has already been allocated. So there's no extra money for us to be scanning records. Uh, and that's why it becomes a departmental or divisional question be decision because it's talking about how you're gonna commit the funds from your department or division. And that's where that decision has to be made. We can help you get them scanned, but we can't pay for it. Um, the 100% remote worker, it, you know, you've been working with your records at home for two years and hopefully you are, uh, conducting best practices by securing them so that they're not accessed by anybody who doesn't have the authorization to access them. Uh, if you're not returning to UCLP or you know people who are not returning to UCLP, those records need to be provided to your department. So that's, that's the answer to the first question. What can I keep off that offsite? What can I keep at my offsite workspace if I am hybrid? And like I said, this is a departmental decision. Here are some things that you need to think about. Who else needs access to those records? Can they access them the way they are now? If you decide you're going to come back and forth with them, how are you going to transport them? Will there be a risk involved with moving them back and forth? And if the records are needed for a California Public Records Act or for litigation, how will the records be provided and who will know how to provide them? What do I do with my records that are have been stored away for two years? Well, first of all, classify what you have. Uh, do you have non-records? And if you haven't been around uh, OP uh, for a while, or you're new to the organization, a non-record is something that you're you're using for reference, and it has a very transitory uh, amount of time that you need it. It's usually convenience copies you might have. 
Uh, it could be reference materials that you have. Those are non-records. And I see I have a question. Can I share those? Yes. Um, if they're non-records, then you destroy them when they're no longer needed. And my feeling is if you haven't needed them for two years, you're probably not going to need them now. Um, and how do you destroy them? Well, if they are not sensitive records, they can go in the recycle. Uh, if they're sensitive records, there will be, or non-records, there will be uh, shred bins for you. Personal papers. If you haven't needed them for two years, you probably can just throw them out too, but you need to take those home. Uh, especially if you're a hybrid person or a fully remote. Records with expired retention periods. So you're going to have to look at the retention schedule and decide whether or not the records retention period has lapsed. If it has, and you know that there's no kind of legal hold going on or records freeze, meaning that they're, they aren't needed for any kind of a lawsuit or um, foreseeable lawsuit, they aren't needed for a California records, Public Records Act request, they aren't needed for some kind of audit, investigation or inspection, and the period has lapsed then you're going to destroy those records. And how you destroy them is going to depend on what they are and their content. If they are sensitive records, then you would be shredding those and put them in the shred bins. If they are recycled, then you'd put them in the half cartons that they will provide. For records without an expired retention period and inactive, then you would want to send those to offsite storage. And we will, we will be able to provide boxes. We think we have enough supply for what might be out there to provide boxes. And we can also help you identify well, how you need to provide a list of them so that people will know what box to retrieve. Uh, we have a, a electronic system where we can put the records and uh, the description of the records in there so that they can be tracked for your department. How did I track my department records going forward? You need to inventory your records. You need to list your records. And when I say list them, I don't mean every single file folder, but broad categories of what you have. Uh, identify where they are found and how long you're required to keep them per the retention schedule. So why is this important now? This is really important now for those people who aren't coming back uh, to 100% on site work. Uh, how is your department going to know when they have a Public Records Act request or a, a legal requirement to hand over records? How are they going to know if they don't have this inventory that this is where those are? So this becomes extremely relevant at this point. And your inventory needs to be shared with others in your department. We will be there for you if, when you come in to do your setup days, which is where you come in and you look in your boxes and try to set up what you've got, figure out if your computer equipment works, if your workstation is accurate. Uh, we, we're going to be there. Um, we, I mean, Jackie and Neil will probably be there. They'll be floating around on the floors uh, while you set up so you can ask questions. Uh, I have another drop in Zoom quest, uh, time coming up in February, on February 24th, or if you have questions. And also, if you don't see us, try emailing us at records at ucop.edu. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to try to make that as easy for you as possible. But I understand that the setup days are going to be a little bit difficult for everybody. Different people are going to be in different parts of where they're, where they're going to be coming and going. You know, they've been at home for two years. They've got used to that environment. And all of a sudden, they're in an office environment with lots, lots of other people. And so we know that there's going to be some stress involved with that. It could very well be that it's just overwhelming. So we know that you, probably, you might not be emptying all of your boxes at that time. But try to do as much as you can and ask us questions. We'd be happy to, to try to answer them. All right, I'm going to stop the share and see what other kinds of questions we have.
Jojo asked if I can share the slide doc deck after the meeting so she can share them with their team. Yes, I can do that. Um, I should. Um, would you email me if you want those so that I know where to send them? Warren, are you talking? Because if you are, you're muted. Uh, no, I wasn't. Sorry. OK, thank you. All right. Well, thank you for your time. I'm going to stay on this uh, Zoom because I said it would be an hour long. Um, so if you can think of any questions, just let me know. Also, I want to, I should say that there is an open, there is a, what do they call it? There is a, oops, I don't want to do that anymore. Let me get out of that. There we go. Um, No, no. Here we go. There's this welcome guide that is part of the packet that uh, BASC will be providing people as they come in. And on one of the last pages, like 28. Thirty. There is some um, information and tips for you from records management. So you might want to look at those and um, refer to them as you're going through your boxes. Alrighty. Thank you. I'm gonna stop the recording. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Very helpful. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Lori. Appreciate your time. Take care. Okay. Bye. -bye. Thank you.